Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Wine and Wavers. Hey. We are a brand new podcast. And just a little bit of an FYI, we are an explicit podcast. Explicit. So. <laughs> Baby kids lis- at home. Listeners beware. <laughs> but either way, we decided to launch this um, for everyone who either is new to fantasy football or just kind of wants to see why, why their boyfriends disappear for half of the football season. <laughs> yeah, why, why these motherfuckers are so obsessed with this. Um, or either way, if you just want to listen to a fun podcast, hear some girls get tipsy, talk shit on each other's teams. But we're here to basically help you decide who you should pick up off the waiver wire and drop. Because whether you're new or you're a pro at this, it can be a little overwhelming and intimidating. So our main thing, besides waivers, is going to be... Discussing our wine of the week, and a red the end, and a white. We should just do a red. I but mean, what about people that like whites? Fuck them. Um, yeah, fuck them. They should <laughs> no trust whites. us anyway. No whites in this Sorry. podcast. <laughs> we are oh, just discriminating. discriminating. We are discriminating against white wine in this podcast. No white wine. So Sorry. only red wine lovers are allowed here. Just kidding. We'll give you a white wine to try, but we're not going to be fucking drinking it most yeah, likely, I mean, just because we once. Once you go, if you have suggestions, once you go red, yeah, <laughs> once you go red, you never leave that bed. Explicit. Give me some of that wine and waivers. Explicit podcast. And I am just here for the booze. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think we all are. <laughs> so. Speaking of wine, that is part of our podcast here. So we leave that part to Tanya pretty much. She's our wine connoisseur that she's not really, but we're going to say she is. But I'm your wine connoisseur that's going to tell you how what the percentage of alcohol in the wine is. We actually don't give a shit about like the fruity (laughs) taste of it or like if it's barrel aged or that bullshit. We just care what the alcohol percentage is. And if it's worth the the possible hangover for work the next day. (laughs) So with that in mind, you guys are probably curious to know who these assholes are that are <laughs> claiming that they're going to give you all this Put a great, name to the annoying voices you're hearing. Right Speak now. for yourself, guys. I'm pretty fucking cool. All this great fantasy advice. Um, you, know who, you know who says they're cool, Carly? <laughs> yeah, the people People that. who aren't cool. <laughs> Touche. Anyways. So, yeah. Geez. <laughs> Diane, who are you? <laughs> yeah, to start with the first annoying voice, I'm Diane. I'm kind of the one who decided to start this whole podcast because last year, I would say I was... Pretty much the idiot fantasy virgin who didn't really come prepared <laughs> at all. Sounded naughty. <laughs> who didn't come prepared at all. Um, Looked at me very for seductively my, right there. Yeah, she did. <laughs> for my fantasy league. So I kind of want to make a podcast just to um, help all the other people out there who are either new into it or just really kind of want something a little bit fun to listen to instead of listening to the long, drawn out podcasts that are really serious or listening to ESPN every day. So, and even though I'm kind of probably capable of doing it on my own, maybe. Mm, yeah, right. <laughs> I decided to have a couple friends do it with me just so we could make for some solid shit talking. Good thought. She and had no pity one, on us. And no one likes <laughs> to, <laughs> to drink alone. So... <laughs> My name is Carly, and uh, I've been doing fantasy for about two years now, but I will say in those two years, I have a batting average of a 1.5. What does that mean? (laughs) This is fucking not baseball. For the newbies for football, you think they're watching baseball out there? (laughs) Just kidding. I'm just Anyway, so my first year, (laughs) I got uh, first place. I don't know whether it was uh, beginner's luck or oh yeah or uh, beginner's luck. I don't know. Break. I think I just got lucky on my picks, to be honest. But too much. and then my second year, I got second. So I'd like to say that I, I, I'm not doing too bad. She's regressing. You're regressing, Carly. <laughs> she's she's trying to say that she's getting worse every year, but she's trying to convince us that she's good, so that we'll actually like. Okay. Why stay on this show? I mean, the <laughs> only reason I did it, though, was because my ex-boyfriend was just so into it. I never saw him. I was like, give me in on this so I can at least spend like she was like, I need Sunday to stalk you yeah. every Sunday because I don't trust you and where exactly. you're going. So let me in on your fantasy team. That, that and then I could actually watch the NFL and give a shit because I'm more of a college football that is watcher. true. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so it helped Probably me get the in newbies at least though. I do. I do. Yeah, so, so she's, she's going to help you guys with these. Um, a lot of your waiver wires are probably going to be people that you're not too familiar with. So you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and that will bring us to Tanya. That's me. 
Hi, I'm Tanya. I, unlike Carly, am progressing in my years of fantasy. I came in second my first year. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I'm oh, sorry. No, I, my wine is hitting me. <laughs> oh, God. I came in third my first year and second last year. But yeah, I had no idea what was going on the first year either. My boyfriend pretty much picked my entire team. So if you guys are there, if you guys are there, it's okay. But we're going to help you be a little more independent. Yeah. And if you're, if you're wanting to play with your boyfriend, you're screwed because he's not going to help you. Trust um, me, you can do it yourself. Yeah. I did it myself last year. And guess what? I beat him. Yeah. So that's so. because women are smarter than men. Carly, Carly, as you're like dumping your wine all, she's not even pouring in the glass. Just no, so everyone knows. Just on the table. She's pouring out of the glass onto her lap as she's talking about how stupid. That's all right. <laughs> oh, and just a little side disclaimer. Um, so if you guys are going to drink alongside us, which I hope you are, because it'll hopefully yeah. make us a little more entertaining <laughs> and hilarious. For Probably you. not, but. Yeah, okay. but <laughs> please drink just to, to make us feel like. Anyway, but drink responsibly. Yeah, and don't drink and drive, guys. Make sure you Uber. We don't Uber have to tell you that. Uber or oh, where? Oh, God. oh God. We don't. We don't have to tell you that. And also, Anyways. yeah, and also, guys, um, just keep in mind, like we're doing this pretty much for entertainment purposes. I mean, there's we know actually, what we're talking about, kinda. Yeah, but there's people out there that literally get paid to like know the shit, like the back of their hand. Even though there's no way to know exactly what's going to happen every week in fantasy. But we're here for entertainment purposes. We're here to have fun. We're here to get drunk and talk some shit. So if you're here to listen to some serious ass shit, like I said in the beginning, this is the wrong place for that. I feel like we're going to be pretty, pretty useful for like. Yeah, for newbies. Yeah. Okay. Don't anyone think you have to be any sort of expert? Like I said, we're gearing this towards people who really don't fucking know what they're doing, but don't want to make the same rookie mistakes that my ass did last year. I had no clue what I was doing. And so on the way to my draft, because I really didn't take it seriously at all, I was not prepared whatsoever. So I literally asked my Uber driver for who my top pick should be for the draft because I had no idea. Meanwhile, Tanya's fucking boyfriend is showing up with his damn briefcase. He's like, fucking. <laughs> These are all don'ts, by don't the way. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't fucking be that up. guy because you will not live that down. No. Honestly, yeah. Like, if you're just taking it that far, it's like, uh, come on, man. Overview, don't ask your Uber driver. And yeah, don't, don't bring the briefcase. <laughs> Wait, yeah, so this what, guy. <laughs> did your Uber driver, like, give you some good advice? No. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, no. I thought he did. She so was I was like, Jack, I was like, these fucking assholes have been prepping for like two weeks. Meanwhile, and she like, shows up like half tanked before we're about half to Half tanked. I had no fucking clue. I'm literally sitting there in the driveway, like typing in my notes on my phone, like who I should be drafting first, which I feel like this guy, I thought he, I think he thought he knew what he was talking about. But like now that I realize like, what the fuck mistakes I made. He definitely didn't know. I'm totally blaming him. I'm not taking any responsibility in this. It's all his fault. My team shit the bed every week. And so I literally lived off the waiver wire and I will have everyone know. I still came in four. Fourth, I think. Fourth, yeah. yeah. Which isn't bad. I no. mean, it's not great. Out of Carly, many- not everyone can be first on their first draft. Okay, come on now. It's just like. So I was proud of myself. And so I was like, hey, this is great. You know, you can totally. Yeah, you can totally live off the waiver wire every week and still do pretty fucking But decent. just don't expect to make any money out of it. Yeah, no, and we totally didn't do it for money. We did it just for shits and gigs. So if you're doing this for money, you probably should not be listening. Or you should have really did that for money, girl. We gave Jeff like $200. Oh, fuck, we did. (laughs) Oh, shit. I totally forgot about that. I thought you were playing for a t-shirt. Okay, see, guys, the back. This is how how much she actually gave a shit about this. This is how fucking clueless I was about the whole damn thing. I remember I was pissed I came in second. (laughs) Oh, man. Okay, so also don't be oblivious to the fact that you are actually paying my you might like it because you have to pay up front in general. yeah and i literally just did it probably in my drunken stupor and didn't remember doing it so i'm like yeah we're just playing for fun yeah. did you guys like we were um have like your picks ready or did you just, i like, didn't well, but most people she did, did. Uber driver I, I didn't i was the only one that didn't Tanya, did else, you no i th- well Bobby so, kind of helped you eh, yeah i mean he was I he really picked right clue. before me so he kept picking the people that i wanted so i was pissed Okay, so, all right. 
<laughs> so make sure you have like your own list. Don't be getting together with your fucking have backups for backups. Yeah, with your fucking league and be asking them like who you should fucking draft because that's who these fuckers are going to be drafting. You want to have your own private like you're back in high school. Hide that shit from everyone. Don't let people peek off your fucking paper because you're hoping that they're ill educated like me and didn't know what they were doing, didn't prepare. So I don't have beginner's luck like Carly. Yeah, I mean, I just I knew like two people that I was like one thousand percent gonna draft. Those were my two first picks, and I just like was like, oh, I've heard that guy's name before. Let's pick yeah. him. I had like <laughs> basic understanding last year of who people were because look, I hated football before I got into fantasy football. I had no idea what was going on. Well, that's yeah. how I feel about that's the how a lot of people are. Like I love me. college fantasy so much, but. Is Fun. But fantasy is really fun. It gets fun. you into football because you're not looking at teams. You're not looking and for teams. You're it's looking pretty, at players. Speaking of this, okay, so I have to say that I've always been very team driven. Like I have had my team, which by the way is the Baltimore Ravens, so don't hate. Ew. But so I've always had my team. I didn't give two shits what any other teams were doing out there. So I totally feel anybody who's on that train. But you can still have a lot of fun with fantasy. Like I actually ended up loving fantasy. I actually ended up giving more sh- of a shit about my own team and my league. Well, not really. That's not true. I, I gave bitch was I, researching I get, like crazy. Yeah, like it I gave an equal get into shit. Every game. But when we're, while we're talking about our don'ts. That leads me to a do, two. do, no, do not oh, fuck. pick all players from your favorite team. Oh, well, oh, that, okay, if you are okay. actually doing that. Okay, Josh, Josh did, did that. that. Oh, that's how Josh, Josh, okay. Josh had Josh. the entire Steelers. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. wait, okay, wait, did Josh never do fantasy before? No. This? Okay, let's brief some people. About, okay, so Josh is Diane's boyfriend, okay? <laughs> okay. Poor man. Honestly... <laughs> I would have never expected I can't believe I didn't. First of all, I can't believe I didn't know that. Second of all. <laughs> I was like, no one would ever in their right fucked up mind do that. <laughs> oh my like, oh, Josh actually did exactly that. Okay, last let's, year. Just, let's just. And now say. Josh has to wear a unicorn t shirt. That says, fuck me in the ass. Wait, did he yeah. get like last place? Yes. yes. <gasps> like, See, okay, lost, so there lost, you go, guys. If you way. choose and he did all not of the right pick group. up anybody on the waivers. <laughs> Yeah. Like anyone he ever picked up, first of all, I just want to take Wait, he a little never, credit here. Anyone he pick, ever picked up, I told him to pick up. Wait, okay. so he didn't ever switch out his team at all? No, I not really. He did so when there was when a bye week bye. and I had to remind him oh, like yeah, the night wait, before. What happened when they had a bye I would be like, you need to pick up these motherfuckers. You need, you need to create a whole other team. Yes, because, because yeah. all the Steelers were yeah. on their bye week. So oh, yeah, just don't lesson do that. learned. Don't do that. Don't do that. I know mm-hmm. like people can get super attached to their own team. Do not... Pick every fucking player from your team. You will regret it. I know that you probably think your quarterback and your running back and your kicker, you think that they're all the best. Well, they're not the best. And trust me, you will regret that decision. Yeah, I have a a friend back home who literally picked the entire Patriots team because she's so obsessed with So you with do that. hear people do that. Yeah. Well, Josh like, isn't the only one in the whole world. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, let's just debrief. Okay. Let's debrief this. Okay. I love you, girl. Now. And if you listen to this, then I'm sorry, but she's literally obsessed with the Patriots. Ugh. Like, I'm like, girl, what are you going to do on a bye week? Like, it's just like. Yeah. And you cannot be so like obsessed with your team that you refuse to like draft anyone from your biggest rival. Like, okay. Well, who. Dude, people are fucking weird, okay? Right. Like, you don't know what people are, you know, like, some people are like, I fucking hate Tom Brady and I would never draft him. I kind of am a little bit like that, but now that I've played. Ooh, that's so <laughs> ooh, I love that. Wait, like, that wait let's, okay. let's do that again. Shall we, everyone? Sh- like, ASMR. <laughs> so yeah, you can't have a too big of a hatred that you're not that you're That's refusing an to draft sound, people. Honestly. Um so, so speaking of draft, um, we're gonna give you guys just like a f- couple of our favorite players um for each position. And this is probably the I would say the only time that you're gonna hear us talk about these guys. Just for the because, most part, unless you know like someone gets hurt. Or, except for me, I feel like I'm gonna talk about a few of these players a little well, bit. Well, yeah, Carly's different because she's gonna be giving you guys the um kind of like underdogs, sleepers, who people, the sleepers rookies. who people don't generally pick right away, but we feel like they may ball out this season. Mm-hmm. So you wanna keep an eye on mm-hmm. them. And I just so everyone isn't like, wow, these fucking morons keep in mind that like this is our pilot and we recorded this like 
quite some time before the actual draft started. So these people that we might be telling you, they actually might be injured. They might not, you know, you might not want to actually pick them up. So just when you're like getting ready to draft, you're going to see that in your app. You're going to see if they're injured or out for the season From the time that we're recording this to the actual, (laughs) so just like (laughs) the actual draft time, somebody might be injured. Somebody might be suspended. So just do a little bit of research. So just, yeah, make sure you just like, or not even research, just on the fucking app. Yeah, that's that's this person's injured. Doesn't like, matter which better app, judgment. Using, yeah, if you've like, never used a fantasy football app, it does give you a lot of information. Yeah, it's so, actually super helpful. Yeah. But you can't always go off of that. Like, oh, definitely. So that not. was like a huge thing for me last year. It was it was super hard for me when I was getting ready to take someone off the or pick someone off the waiver wire. Was that I would see that they were like ranked highest, like they were projected to get the most points. So I'd automatically want to pick them up. But that is not always the case. That can mm-hmm. definitely steer you wrong. Mm-hmm. So you do want to do a little bit of research. But we're here to. Hopefully, do a little bit. Uh, do that, that research for you. Do a little you. bit of that research for you. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting hot. I'm getting sweaty. <laughs> so okay. Lying. So okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna start this off. <laughs> Who are we starting with? Let's start with the ones that are like the most important. Yeah, so, like, we're gonna the start running, with the running backs. backs. Okay. Running backs. Running backs. By the way, you're gonna want to get like probably four of them. So, like, you're going to play two of them. Four at least. At least four. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. You need some backup because running backs, want, I mean, they get hurt, <laughs> too, like, frequently. And not, yeah, and not only, <laughs> okay, okay, but not only that, like, so we're going to give you our top picks, and we're going to, it's going to seem like a lot, and you're going to be like, okay, well, that's obvious, but, like, a lot of these people aren't going to be available when it's actually your turn to draft. So keep that in mind. So we're going to give you some that are, like, pretty obvious, and then Carly's going to give you a couple that aren't so obvious that, like, might kind of be considered like what they call a sleeper, like someone that you might not exactly start right away, but you want to kind of keep them on your bench because they could pop off. So just to kind of give you an idea of like why there's such like a drastic difference between who we're recommending. So I'm going to go ahead and start off the running backs. Um, We're each going to give our top three picks for the running backs. And then Carly's going to give you, and by each, I mean, Tanya and I. And I actually have three running backs. Oh, (laughs) I couldn't. I couldn't narrow it down. Well, that's perfect. Good. That's good. More options. All right. Well, Diana gonna... and I might have like multiples. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So okay. So to start it off, I would choose which I'm I... gonna guess Saquon Barkley. Yeah. That, okay. <laughs> so if you are if you number have, one, if you, you have that option. Okay. If you, <laughs> if you have the number one draft pick, you better be picking. Barkley, and that's all I'm saying. Like, like if you have hit, fucking, if you have the option to pick Barkley, yeah, fucking, that's all you got to know. Yeah, cool. let me give you a little tip here. So obviously, last year was his rookie season. Um, I think people really did know that he was going to be decent. I know? mean, I didn't know that exactly. <laughs> I mean, okay. I just sound like a dumbass. So I had just no to give you advice, like it's really good to know these rookies and um, utilize that because he was my first pick. And like I said, I took second. He got me the most points every single week. So, um, Barkley, it would be my number one pick. And then my number two pick would would be McCaffrey. Okay. I like McCaffrey. Yeah. McCaffrey's All right. a good pick. Oh, he's a great pick. Okay. He is a pretty good pick. All right. He's go ahead, really Tanya. He, on he's to you. pretty cute, too. He is. Just saying. I agree. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. So, Saquon, obviously, I picked. Um, other than McCaffrey, Ezekiel Elliott. He's uh, kind of threatening to pull. He did work for you last year. He worked great for me last year. He killed it for me, like probably 90% of the time. Let's just hope he doesn't get suspended again. (laughs) That was only for like a game or two. (laughs) (laughs) But anyways, um, he's also kind of threatening to pull a Le'Veon, which they might not know about Le'Veon last year. Le'Veon is my other pick. Oh, my goodness. What a little bitch. Look, okay. Oh, wait, we said we were going to give three, and I only gave fucking two. That's fine. That's all right. Well, no. let, me pop, let me pop one more in there when you're done. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I picked four, so I got you Ooh. covered, girl. Okay, well, go ahead. And if it's not one of the ones that you picked, I'll say it. All right. All right, go ahead. So I got Zeke. <laughs> <laughs> I got Le'Veon, but that's, I mean, he, he went to a new team. Hopefully, he's happy with a salary now. Um, maybe he's getting paid enough to actually fucking play. But when he does fucking play, he kills it. I had he, him my first year, and he got me more points than almost anybody. Like, almost more than my quarterback. Yeah, already. I mean, you know, I I can't really blame him because I feel like if I thought that he's I was that, that good, good. Yeah, he's you know. really good. So keep an eye on him. Hopefully, he actually, like, I mean, pick him up if you can, just so you have him. All right. Anyways, um, my other... I have sentimental value for Mr. Leonard Fournette <laughs> because I've had him for the past two years. 
And he's always done well for me. I mean, Tanya's had good luck. So, yeah. but Tanya's a very lucky person. Everyone just keep that in mind. So <laughs> don't listen to that. No, no. <laughs> it's true. So mine are sleepers or rookies or people you're going to want to pick up maybe towards the eighth to 10th round. To just have some backup on your bench. Yeah. And honestly, um, they might end up popping off more than your first round picks. Depends on injuries and all that kind of like stuff. Like Fitzmagic last year. Fitz magic. Fitz, Fitz magic. magic. The Bucks, bitches. Oh, God. Tampa Bay. All right. So my first sleeper, Tampa. actually, he is a rookie. Um, his name's Joshua Jacobs. Mm. JJ. I like his name. Yeah. It's I don't know who the straight. fuck that is, but I like sexy. his name. So I could go with that. <laughs> Rolls off the tongue well. He So he mm, was draft- Joshua Jacobs. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that sounded terrible. Ew. <laughs> I thought it felt, it felt really good. Kyle. It felt right. It sounded like shit, but it felt really good. Like, <laughs> and I'm sure, well, I'm sure you won't be surprised that he was drafted from Alabama. So. Bama. Bama. Why would I? Okay. Okay. You don't know college football at yeah, all, do yeah, you? Like, Bama's like. Bama's number one almost here. every oh, 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 year. Okay. So. Sorry. Okay. So just so everyone knows, Diane is the dumbass of college football. <laughs> yeah. I do not know college football at all, which is really fucking I don't know much, but I feel like most people know Bama's like. I thought she top. was like making a Penn State reference. No. <laughs> so like, so an, a, enough said he was drafted this year from Alabama in the first round. So keep an eye on him. All right, cool. All right, on to the next. You'll <laughs> probably like this guy because he is now drafted to the Ravens. Yes, I know you're going to say. Uh, his name is Justice Hill. He's a rookie from like Oklahoma State. It sounds like Jonah Hill. It does. Like I love Jonah Hill. So that's easy to remember, guys, if you fucking know who Jonah Honestly, Hill is. Honestly, I thought Justice. Everybody knows who Jonah Hill is. I thought was. Justice was a girl's name. I mean, stop. Okay. But Let's we not can't go say there. that. <laughs> okay, so are those your picks? I think No, I have another one. <laughs> My last running back is going to be Miles Sanders. He was drafted oh. uh, this year to the Eagles. Yeah, no, I know who that is. You do? I mean, I watched the draft. We watched the draft. Yeah. Oh, that's how I so I know the name. So, yeah. you, so you know he's from Penn State. I don't State, know, like. Well, that's why Carly picked him. I don't know where him. he's from. I don't know his background. His don't know who he's dating or not dating. But, which I'm sure Carly <laughs> Carly, Carly no, probably no, no, knows no. if he's from no. Penn State. Carly, yeah, no. Carly used to follow these motherfuckers, like. Just all around campus. It's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> it's anyway, fun. no. The only reason I picked him is because, fun fact, Saquon actually backed him. So Saquon was rookie of the year last year, right? So this year, he he's calling it right now. Miles Sanders, Rookie of the Year. Oh, uh, all right. I'm behind that. So, all right. I'll take I'll it. Take you it. know? I like it. All right. So a couple other ones um, we're going to throw out there um, is, so Gurley, you know, he... He got hurt last season, but he seems to be back. Yeah, he's kind of nursing an injury. Actually, he's not. He's, he's actually fine I think he's now. back. I think he's practicing. He, he's fine, but, like, just be kind of cautious. Like, if you're planning on drafting him, just kind of watch your, like I said, your... But he's another sure one he's that, good. like, if you have him... It's really good. Like, he's awesome. Yeah, he's amazing. He's going to get you the points. You need. Um, I also have Kamara, David Johnson. Yeah, um, no, you're going to say Kamara is good. Yeah. A couple other ones. Uh, Gordon, Connor, Mixon. Anyways, <clears throat> so like I said, we probably won't mention them much again, except the ones that Carly brought up. Um, if they happen to ball out, we're going to end up talking yeah. about them this quite one, a bit. This uh, but- pot, this. Episode. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> this episode. I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling. This episode is like talking about who to draft, but the main podcast after the draft is going to be who we're picking up at yeah. off the waiver wire. So you're not going to be hear pretty these obvious to you. You're going to know who you're going to want to start. Yeah. And like, but you're going to have weeks where you have bye weeks. You're going to have weeks where someone's injured. Someone's playing like shit. And you're like, fuck it. I'm going to live off the waiver wire. So like Diane right. last year. Okay. So wide receivers. All right. What we got. Oh. I'll let you go first. Go All ahead. Right. I'll okay. let Tanya because I went well, first last time. Go ahead. Okay. So, well, my number one is Devonte Adams. The, for the Packers. Oh, my God, I'm shocked right now. And Why? Just, he killed it last year. I'm just being serious. I'm just shocked. I just thought You for thought sure. I was going to go with my boy Hair. I call him Hair. Odell Beckham Jr. Be <laughs> wow. Did you see he changed his hair? I'm going to be very sad. Oh, my God. He, no, he looks so Wow, I did the hot. same thing. I'm like, so sad. Honestly, he looks hair. like a completely different it person. It looks like ramen noodles. It did, but it doesn't mm. anymore. He did it super dark and like Love cut it a little. ramen. Ooh. That's what He's saying. sexy as mm. hell. That does make him more attractive. If See? they've got ramen noodle for hair. Mm, There's girl. something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> I just love ramen. We all love ramen. Both. Yeah, but no, that changes shit. Like, anyone gonna, like, can draw me. I might in. have to drop him if he changed his ramen hair. No, yeah, dude, should. no. Anyone could draw me with some ramen. Okay, your boy is his QB, Baker Mayfield. 
Yes, and we will get to that. Mm-hmm. Baker is my man. All I right, so, okay, so you gave your, okay, so give one and more. The, um, I got DeAndre, DeAndre, who the hell is that? <laughs> DeAndre <laughs> Hopkins. <laughs> Dude, he's hurt. I'm I know. I know he's hurt, but he's a good one. He might be better by the time the draft yeah. comes along. So he he's hurt, um, but his talent is just like out of this world. So yeah, he is fucking he's good. A good. I tried one to steal him from your last. You year. did, and I wouldn't give him up. <laughs> Keep an eye on him. Yeah. So you might want to yeah, have him, um, like draft him, even if it's you're gonna have him on a, on your bench. Look, <laughs> this Menage a Trois is hitting me. Okay. <laughs> You, you know Menage a Trois yet? means like threesome or something? Yeah. Shit, so I didn't know long. that until like That's what no, we're yeah. a few months ago. That's why I get that wine all the time. Huh. That's <laughs> why I got it tonight. <laughs> but for us three. <laughs> we got a threesome going on here, guys. Yeah, guys, we're very open. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go next because Carly's going to give you like the, whoosh, you know, you know the drill. So I would go with, like if he's whoosh. not a fuck, Antonio Brown. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, he pisses me off. I love him. Okay. So there's one. Two would be Hilton. And three. Hilton, who does he play for? Let's say three would be uh, Mike Evans. Okay, shut up. Tanya's <laughs> going for the Bucks Tanya's here. convinced that she's going to get me to be a Bucks fan, and it's just not going to happen. Like, <laughs> sure, I'll go to their games, and, like, I'll cheer for them, but, like, deep in my Unless soul. Unless the Ravens are playing. Yeah, deep in my soul. I'm sitting there, like, Fuck. I'm surprised that, uh, Tanya, you didn't say uh, Schuster. I do love me some Juju. Also, like, who doesn't love saying Juju over and over again? All right. All right. On to my sleepers slash rookies here. Um, So my first wide receiver. His name is even better than all the other ones, to be honest. Uh, Sterling Shepard. So he's from the Giants. Drafted from Oklahoma in 2016. So the reason he's going to pop off Mm -hmm. is because Odell's no longer there. OBJ, ramen hair Dude, is that no is a good longer point. there. Yeah. That is that actually a solid place. point. That's what I mean. So, so actually, I might draft him sooner. Yeah. Honestly, that's keep that. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, if he good is available, if he's available and you think that the people that you're looking at aren't really. Yeah. If these top ones that we gave you already are not available, fucking pick him up. Sterling I mean, I would. Shepherd. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I wouldn't sleep All right. Him. So, okay. all right. My second one is DK Metcalf. He's on the Seahawks. <laughs> He was just drafted. <laughs> Why are you looking know. at me like that? I'm bitter about the Seahawks because of fucking Russell Wilson. <laughs> you gotta put that behind you. All right, so we're playing fantasy. Okay, so he was drafted this year in round two. So I mean, definitely promising. Also, really? he's huge, like huge, like his muscly. Or no, not, I mean, maybe his dick is huge. The rest of his body is huge. So I mean, he might have a third dick. A third, a third dick? dick? I mean, you, you say a third leg? I'm a third leg. Oh, oh. oh God. A tripod, if you will. <laughs> a tripod of cock. A cock pod. A cock tripod. Cock pod. He, he actually doesn't have legs. They're all dicks. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's so good. He just runs he just, on dicks. <laughs> okay. Galloping on wow. cock all day. <laughs> You're <laughs> fucked up, dude. That's what happens when you have cock on your brain. <laughs> 24 fucking 7. Single for life. Oh, my God. All right. All right. Are we moving on to yeah, our favorite position? Uh, going up, going off of dicks? Yeah. Tight ends? Talk about tight. Ooh, the tight booty holes. The tight booty holes. This is honestly... Okay, so Carly thinks that the tight ends are the hottest ones in this. Yeah, is they are. This is clearly no. why she thinks that they're the hottest ones because she thinks they have a tight ass. That she you know like, they don't. Actually, Carly, I don't even know why the... F- okay. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Anyways. I'll explain it. I'll explain it. Are, we'll get to are you going to explain it? I will. Okay, I'm excited okay. for that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give my top pick, which is Ertz, because that's yeah, who I picked I last year, and he is... I okay. didn't pick Ertz because I knew you would pick Ertz. Okay, well, he was the only motherfucker that I drafted. Like, like I second? I, no, okay, that was Russell Wilson. Actually, I don't know the fucking order. Either way, I did it wrong. It was too early. But the is one what it was. person I made a good decision on was Ertz because he fucking did me saw the whole season. So that's me. All right, I got Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. He's mm. good too. He has mm. Mahomes as his QB. I want to take him. You know? See, all the and, you know, are so hot. I also have a backup. I picked him. I have George Kittle. That's who I have. Yeah. That's George who Kittle. I have as a, as a backup, Apparently, too. He led all of the tight ends in yardage last year. Well, I hope he didn't just take yours, Carly. 
You did not. Oh, I know. Good. I don't know Carly's got from. all the hot off the press youngins yeah. from the fucking. All right. So my sleeper slash rookie tight end is going to be Mike Gesicki. Oh, yeah. Gesicki. Gesicki. I like that I know name. you guys love to say Gesicki. Gesicki. He, <laughs> he oh, okay. is now on the Dolphins. <laughs> Uh, he's team. super sexy, honestly. That's why she likes That's him. That's the most important part. Guys. No, but he's like super, super and tall. Again, Carly likes the tight end. To Carly, fans. that is the most important part. So he's gonna be no, a good. No, do not draft based on looks. My no, friend, no, Kel- no. my friend Kelsey did that my first year playing, and let me tell you, did not end well. Dude, <laughs> she had a, a sh- great looking team. In- not gonna lie. <laughs> If Just we're going, to be clear. yeah, Just to be she had clear. a great looking team, but they were all hot as fuck. She loved, we loved it for that yeah. aspect, but they sucked. <sighs> all right, not so great. not great. Anyways, continue. <laughs> so Gasicki is a very promising, like late round pick. Um, I think he's going to pop off for the Dolphins. I don't think they have much. Well, don't, much yeah. else going for them. <laughs> oh so honestly, don't say that. My dad might listen. Oh. <laughs> Dad, well, da- daddy, sorry, daddy. Don't. I think he's going to be a huge asset to the Dolphins team, though. So a agreed. Huge, uh, OK, let's do it. All right. So, who, OK, so that was. Oh, you just had one. Mm-hmm. That's Good. fine. Good. Perfect. Because there's not much to pick from out there. <laughs> Tight ends, like there's literally yeah. two right yeah. now. Yeah, there's okay. no, no, three. 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 And, and, if, count and if you can't pick any of those, um, then you're just, screwed. just go, just for, go whatever. for whatever's right on us <laughs> because you're probably going to yeah. be, we're probably going to be guiding Howard, you. Howard, like. We're going to be guiding you through that. Gronky used to be a good one, but he's retired. <sighs> Diane hates everybody God. from the Patriots, mm, so. He was cute, too. No, he had a you, nose. Oh, you, he okay. looked like he broke his nose seven times, I'm which he may be, have. I'm I don't not know. trying to be a bitch, Carly, but if you honestly think he's attractive, I think I think his like. No, you think his money he, is attractive. No, I think his well, his, he has yeah. good muscles. You think that he's big, and he's I don't big. mean his dick. I don't mean his third fucking dick. I mean that <laughs> his third he, leg. Yeah, he, no, his third his dick. Tripod. He's his, his tri <laughs> dick. Um, I I think that you because he's like a big beast. Do you think he's attractive? But look, ah, uh, yeah, but his humor though, like he is like he funny. Oh my god, oh, he's I've seen absolutely of him, like, hilarious. Down he's, at the fucking club, like it's oh hilarious. my god, he is he's not li- a good dancer. It's no. funny. Okay, well then that is funny. All right. Anyways, so okay, QBs. okay, okay, my, okay. So this bitch, I can't <laughs> even get over her. So she's like, oh yeah, I'm super like down with this podcast, like you know. And I think this bitch like knows a little bit about football. So I'm like creeping on my Facebook and I see these girls that from my hometown that were on some date in Nash or date. Jesus. Trip. I'm not <laughs> drunk. I'm drunk already. <laughs> they were at like, um, a bachelorette party in Nashville and they ended up running into um, Patrick Mahomes. So I screenshot it and I send it to these two bitches and I'm like, dude, I am so jealous right now that these girls just met Patrick Mahomes and Carly <laughs> has the fucking audacity knowing we're about to start this shit in oh, two oh weeks. God. This is embarrassing. Has the audacity to be like, uh, Who's that? I don't even know who that is. Okay, wait, like, can I? And just... I was like, this better be a sick, twisted right, we're like, Okay, Carly, don't look into who that is. Joke. When and I was like, yeah, time. when it's draft time, pretend like you still don't know who that motherfucker okay. is. For all you bitches who don't know who Patrick Mahomes is, if draft you can him. draft him as your quarterback, which you're going to want to wait till like the four, yeah, the fifth so round. Quarterbacks but pick him like the can. sixth pick. I mean, but okay, let me stick up for myself here. This was completely out of left field in our group chat, first of all. <laughs> you Second of all. still know that. Also, <laughs> he's also, a very important person. I, oh, man. Guys, okay, I knew who he was. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I literally, Diane was just in Nashville, like, talking about all these singers and all the shit. So, like, I'm thinking he's, like, a country singer for some reason in my brain. Jesus like, I don't know who this that bitch is. Thing, like, Patrick Mahomes is like, does that even sound like a country <laughs> singer's name? I mean, Patrick Mahomes. Yes, it does. It sounds like he would talk about, like, cows and fucking shooting oh, shit and stuff. Mind. Like, I don't but know. Heavy. God, Bud heavy, I, actually bush heavy, yeah. bush heavy guy. Sorry, he might be a bush heavy guy. Ooh, so, uh, if you guys don't yeah. get the so fucking that's everybody's if top you, QB. Yeah, if you have Mahomes available, which I actually, I, I know there's going to be some dispute about this, but I would probably draft him like number four, like your fourth round pick. No, I mean QBs should be back. I agree. Yeah, okay. I feel like that's a good time to draft okay. a QB. I feel like some people think it should be later, but no. um. <sighs> 
No, I would pick him. If you have more options of better running backs, well, before yeah. To if, pick you a, if you have a if you have an option for a really good core uh, running back or mm-hmm. wide receiver, pick them over Mahomes mm-hmm. because any QB is going to get you good points. Pretty much any good any good QB is going yeah. to get you good points, even if it's not Mahomes. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> except for Russell Wilson when yeah. Diane has him. <laughs> okay, so so my other choices would be you have more than one quarterback. Yeah. Okay. Well, we all said Mahomes would be our. I top. picked. I picked two okay. other ones. Yeah, that I know I, Diane would yeah. pick. So. I have oh, a bunch, okay. but Mahomes is everybody's. So I would go with Rodgers. Oh, Scott, sh- oh no, I didn't. That's him. kind of Aaron Rodgers. I mean, he's I mean, he didn't, good. He didn't do I, great last year. No, he, he was awful. I had him no. as like my backup quarterback. And I feel even like he did okay. He did not. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Well, that was but last yeah, year. but he's supposed. To, I. I looked into a couple things and I did see that he was up there on the picks. Tanya, so. I'm so glad that you looked into a couple. Ooh, <laughs> well, I just like bullshit at most of those, like from what okay. I know. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna say uh, Mayfield. I think is gonna be pretty good this year. You picked her. Why are you really? going there? Really? You knew she wanted I thought them. she was gonna. This I thought she was gonna say. Bitch. Okay, fine. I'll give it. I a mean, go. no, no. I have no, another. I'll say. I'll say. You know what? No. You I'll know say what? Luck. I'll say Andrew Luck. No, this is a good point though because. This Honestly, is what's going to happen. At this point, Baker Mayfield is not a sleeper. No, he's not. Or a rookie. I mean, technically. That's what I'm saying. He's not your territory anymore. Robert. No, he's <laughs> not. He, honestly, yeah. If you have the option to even... Okay, so pick maybe Mahomes. And then if you have the option... Maybe Mahomes. No, I'm Definitely saying... Definitely Mahomes. <laughs> okay, yes. But if you have an option, you, you want to make sure you have a backup quarterback, right? Oh, yeah, obviously. So, I think you should have one back... One, uh, starter and one backup quarterback. Like, you don't need any more. Yeah. Diane made that mistake last year. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> she you're had, right. Like, I'm, I'm honestly glad you said Baker because he's no longer a sleeper. Yeah, he's actually a solid pick. Like, yeah. I actually, no, I'm, I'm being The serious. Browns are going to go the fuck off. Yeah. And he has OBJ to throw to. If I, exactly. I mean, yeah, I, I would say luck too then. If you want me to throw another one in I had there, a, but. I had Andrew Luck last year and he did really well for 60% of the game, I would say. Well, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he did like, the thing with you know, him was like, he did, did either really, really good and like killed it or yeah. he did awful. Okay. He got like two so, points. So I just want to throw someone out there that like people are going to be like, okay, whatever. But this guy, like I um, picked him up like kind of a third into the whatever, into the season. Yeah. Uh, Matt Ryan. No, he <laughs> off the waiver. Oh, well, you picked. Yeah. No, I, I didn't know. I asked Josh because he wasn't as. Yeah. You Matt traded Ryan, him. Matt Ryan doesn't play for the Steelers yeah. and Josh picked all Steelers. So I was like, hey, this guy, he's not, you know, he's not a quarterback for the Steelers. So why don't you let me have him? And he's like, OK. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think of people that you would not pick because I feel like we are on the same page for a lot of them. I picked Drew Brees. I mean, I know oh, I he's getting older, but he's still he's like dead. his talent is still like way up there. He led like one of the best off or probably the best in the league last year. He kind of got screwed in the playoffs. I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I mean, I think he's a good choice all the time. And then I know for a fact she wasn't going to pick Tom Brady, but I had to put him. Oh, Bobby. Uh, Shut up. What about Goff? I mean, Goff's a good, great one. Yeah, Goff's a top Goff's pick a too. Solid pick. Well, and I didn't. Watson. Know, I didn't. I like I said, I was going for ones that I didn't think you would pick. Yeah. I thought you might pick Goff and Watson. Yeah, Watson. Okay, you have Watson and Hopkins. Like that's a, that's oh, yeah. what you had last. I year. had them last year. I know. Yeah, that's okay. that's actually a really good matchup. If you can get those two, okay, go ahead, Carly. I mean, honestly, you took you took Baker. Um, I do have. <laughs> one one sleeper that you could possibly pick up. And now I'm going to disclaim this because um if you What have, does disclaim this mean? <laughs> like Put a, a disclaimer. disclaimer out. Oh. What? Wow. <laughs> Guys, okay, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so okay. So I'm gonna get shit for this and I already know it. But I think it's something something to think about. You're really dragging this on. Yeah. Clayton Thorson. I don't know who the hell Never heard of him. I know. (laughs) That's okay. That's your job. That is your job on our podcast. (laughs) He's from Northwestern, but he's um, Carson Wentz from the Eagles. It's Mm -hmm. his like second backup. His second backup. So like not even like if Carson Wentz got hurt. Well, Nick Foles is gone. Right. Right. So then he's his. So he's up. Okay. So it's his first backup. So... (laughs) Carly, let's, let's help you. I know Diane I've been was having issue counting I know, last I've been time, with Matt all night, but well, 
I always struggle with math. And to be honest, Aww, I don't so know. Sad. Anyway. All right. Well, we're going to go into Carly's favorite. Yeah. The um, kickers. The kickers. And mm. I, I have one kicker and that's it. I have just, one also. Just one. Do you guys know who these kickers are? Fuck yeah, I know who this I know kicker who this is. One is. No, I mean, like, do you? Do yes, you, I've met him personally. We've had dinner together. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is the kicker is the people who tried to try out for the soccer team and got absolutely Stop. rejected. That's not true. Okay, I feel like it it's is, the opposite. Though. Okay, so Carly has some, like, built-up, like, personal... She has anger towards yeah. kickers Not for anger, some but, like, bitterness. She's got some So much that bullshit. I didn't even pick one. Are you fucking kidding me? Carly's no. just not even being helpful. Oh, my God. This is strike number two for Carly. She <laughs> is literally fucking on her way out, guys. So if anybody wants, like, to start submitting applications... I'm giving today, the most yeah, information. Give Carly. If you're in the Tampa Bay area and you would like to be a part of our... <laughs> Our podcast, our top cast, our podcast. Fuck y'all. <laughs> yeah, um, you can totally take over for Carly. No, we're kidding. <laughs> All right, so uh, my kicker is um, Tucker. Ravens. Tucker. Mm. Justin Tucker. He's fucking awesome. Bet and... you tried out for a soccer team. Okay, oh. stop talking. Go ahead, Tanya. <laughs> Tanya, go ahead. Go ahead with your I have, as Bobby puts it, Greg the Leg. Zerling. Greg, the, Ooh, the, 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 the third, third leg? leg? The, the third dig leg? The, the tripod. <laughs> the tripod. The cock pod. Mm. Greg Zerling with the Los Angeles Rams. Ooh, okay. All right. He did really well for me last season. I had him for a while. And then I don't remember what happened. Or no, I picked him up. Mm. I Somebody had to drop him to pick somebody else up. And I like jumped on it because I, I had a good team for the rest of like, everyone else. But I was like. Shit, Greg the leg is on the waivers. Let me kid him. Exactly. So, so him my advice for this is um, the kicker, not a huge deal. So, well, yes, this- kickers are important because they can get you decent points, but they're not going to get you that many points. So you want That's to. That's not true. No, I think that you can live off the waiver wire with kickers. I mean, you can because yeah, I did. Diane that. did that. That's last what year. I but mean. I'm saying I know people that like had solid kickers and they got them so many fucking points, aka Justin Tucker. And Greg the leg. <laughs> if you have them on your team, you're fucking, you already know you're getting solid points because if your it Ravens depends. offense sucks and. Well, then they're going to keep kicking. Exactly. But, but even those, like, I mean, yeah, you get three there are points different circumstances, if they make it, different situations. You have to still get a decent kicker well. because you got to, they got to make it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. Move so, on from kickers. Okay. Well, no. I'm uh, Diane wants to give Diane the really loves the kickers. No, I'm going to do your job and give like one. Okay. So we're supposed to be helpful here and give like a, an array of mm-hmm. people. And we gave two. So I'm going to go with Fair Baron. I, really, I had him. That Remember? Yeah. Did you even say that right? No. I don't know. It's <laughs> okay. It's fair. Like the like. Fair you, Bane. I think Fair Bane. Called. There's an R in there. Fair Baron. That's what I said. Fair Baron. <laughs> okay. Maybe Either the way. R's okay. Either but, way, he but, plays for the Texans. Yes. And... So I had to pick another, before I had Greg the leg, I had to pick up another kicker because mine was on a bye or something. I don't remember. And it was him? I oh picked him up because he was on the waivers. Okay. And I was like, I just need one. So Ooh, I picked him up. He was on the waivers. There's That's a, how I picked his ass up. That's all what I mean. Carly? All kickers are on the waivers except for the like ten to twelve people nice. that have a kicker. Okay, so. This guy did really good for me. Perfect. Same. And, but he, he's actually then he fell off. <laughs> but no, he's pretty solid. And that's solid. when I got Greg it, just, it just depends who your defense is, honestly. Yeah. Like exactly. Ooh, which we will get into now. And the weather. <laughs> defense. All right. Well, I only have one defense, and I feel like everybody's gonna have it. Uh okay, go ahead. Chicago Bears. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Yeah. But I also have the Rams and the Jags. Rams are always good. I mean, they were like them number one for a long time, weren't they? Not the not the defense, but the team. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna pull the card as um the Browns. I'm kidding. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the, the Browns actually the defense, they, Browns defense they, are really Okay, well so here. yeah, if I'm gonna pick, if I have to pick one, which I wasn't going to, but if I had to pick one other than the other two that they mentioned. The Browns. But um, like I said, like I always say, live off the waiver wire, I think, on this one, too, because I did for my two years and I, I didn't do too bad. So 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel you. And I love, I literally know. Diane had a different team every single week last week. Yeah, that's season. what I mean. And I think the kicker and the, I know that Diane really feels strongly about the kicker and how they can, <laughs> they can really know, get I you a bunch of points. I about one kicker. Yeah. <laughs> literally the Ravens kicker is the only one she cares about. That's the about. only one I care about. I'm kind of biased, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, I feel like the kicker and the the defense. Yeah, if you have the option and you've already got who you want to get, pick those two things. But yeah, like I said, I, I think I think the waiver wire is going to be a good kicker spot. and defense are things that you can easily live off the waiver wire with, right? Um, but if you have the option, like Carly said, if you have like a good, you know running back or a couple of good running backs, a couple of good ride receivers. If you got a good even just list. even just one good QB, I would be like, okay, pick up the um kicker and defense if you can. Right. Like a good one. Mm-hmm. So other and than that. Did you say tight end? No, I mm, forgot about the tight end. How wow. did I, how did I forget about that ass? Mm. I don't know how Carly let you forget about that bullshit. True. I was about to go in on her, but she did fine. give me a weird look for a second, so maybe that was why. <laughs> oh, one more thing we forgot to add. Holy shit. Let um, me forget, bitch. So, um, maybe not every week, but some weeks we are going to be just pulling in guests from our league to come on the show just to, you know. Talk what they're thinking. Talk. <laughs> what? Talk what they're thinking. I said I would talk what they're thinking. To kind of talk what they're thinking. <laughs> what Actually, they're thinking. kind of. I think we need these people to come in and put us in our motherfucking places. They're going to be our chaperones. But actually, they're Talk also here to pour thinking. our wine for us. Yeah, because... they're mostly here for our wine pours. No, just kidding. Wine they they are here to do they're that. Gonna they're going to be our wine bitches. What they're bitches but... We'll let them speak for a sec. But yeah, no, they are going to join Every time us. They pour wine for us, we'll let them talk. <laughs> because they do have very simultaneously you know, good information and also entertaining as fuck. We wouldn't be friends with them if they weren't. And yeah. so next week we're we, we're going to be going over how our individual drafts went with our own league, and then the rest of the season we're going to be focusing on who you should be picking up off the waiver wire and why. You yeah, should. tune in to the next podcast when the real fun begins and when we start shit talking and when our drunk opinions start to fly in, and hopefully helping some of you kick some ass in fantasy this year. Oh, yeah. And make sure you definitely follow us on IG. Our IG is at Wine and Waivers, where we will have our wine selection of the week posted along with some videos of the behind the scenes of our podcast. For you non-millennials, I yeah, use for Instagram. You, yeah, for you <laughs> non- <laughs> you Okay, non- if you <laughs> don't know what IG is, it is Instagram. So that's where we're going to be <laughs> posting most of our shit. So follow us, bitches. See you uh, next podcast. Yeah. Chug your wine and work the waivers. That's it. Peace. Done.